innovation a little bit. I, I think it's safe to say that we are saving kilowatts each time things run. In our case, this power, while being sold now, will in the future offset additional parasitic load. Um, at least in some of the discussions of the concept of a virtual power plant. You can't get one built, you can't permit one. Nobody wants one in their backyard. Um, so what can you do to bring different power and load type things together as a block of items that you can then dispatch? And that's where they're looking at demand side management conservation. They want to shut, shut my air conditioning down at my house. They're going to take and do uh, shed a whole subdivision. They're going to, if people have given them the right to, this type of thing. So, and they're adding these things up and coming up with the reality of about 100 megawatt, which is a combustion turbine. Which then you start to equate that to 70, 80, 90 million dollars. In our case, our customers, which are REC's, that we, the generator, are doing something to conserve power. What are we doing? Um, you know, if we're going to ask cu customers to reduce usage because we're sitting here seeing load growth, but to offset the load growth, we need them to be smarter. We give them incentives to do heat pumps instead of other things. We give them incentives to, you know, insulate their house better, whatever it might be. Also, again, the question comes back, if I have to save and I'm going to let you shut my air conditioning off when it's 100 degrees, what are you doing at the plant to help save?